going to share with you today uh, a slightly different cookie. It's called cornstarch cookies. It does not use any flour. It just uses cornstarch. Uh, this is good for people who have intolerance to gluten or to flour or those who are on a gluten-free diet. But for those who are not on a gluten-free diet, you will still enjoy this. Let's get started. For cornstarch cookies, you need four cups of cornstarch or one pound or 450 grams, one cup of full cream powdered milk, one teaspoon baking powder, one cup sugar, two tablespoons vanilla, two whole eggs, one cup premium margarine. If you want to use butter, please add one half teaspoon salt. This is premium margarine or refrigerated margarine or they call this butter blend. And then you have sugar. I will add in the vanilla. All right. We will cream this for about uh, three to four minutes. To add your baking powder to your cornstarch. Also the Powdered you milk. can use skim milk, you can use full cream milk or butter milk, but I like full cream milk. This cookie recipe is inexpensive because it just uses starch. It does not use flour. Of course, powdered milk is expensive, but uh, in case you want to reduce the powdered milk, just replace it with an equal amount of cornstarch. Also, it does not use butter, it uses premium margarine. So this is a good cookie if you are on a budget. Of course, it does not taste as delicious as the buttered cookies, but I tell you, it's quite good. After uh, five minutes, let's scrape to make sure everything's well combined. All right, it looks good. So we will add the eggs. By the way, when you cream butter or margarine and sugar, you can cream it for a long time and it does not get over mixed. But the moment you add the eggs, they can be over mixed. So just be, uh, just watch out for that. Then we add in the egg one at a time. Make sure the first egg is well incorporated before you add the second egg. So you wait until it loses its curdled look. You know it has formed an emulsion when it's smooth. All right, let's add the next egg. Let me scrape the bowl. You wait until the butter and the egg comes together before you add in the cornstarch mixture. By the way, some people, instead of adding uh, powdered milk, they add flour. You can also do that. It's not purely a cornstarch uh, recipe if you add flour. So for those who are gluten-free, who are on a gluten-free diet, they can't eat that. But if it's just cornstarch with the milk, yes, they can. You can see that the butter or the margarine and the eggs are mixing together. They're no longer watery. They don't look like mayonnaise that got wet. Okay, this, once you see that, okay, let me turn it off, see? You can see it's smooth now. That's the time you add the cornstarch mixture. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry, this one does not go on really slow. By the way, this recipe, if you don't have a mixer, you can mix it with a wooden spoon. You just need, um, you know, more power to do that. Pardon the flour dust. Okay. Mix only until you don't see the cornstarch. See? You don't see the cornstarch, so stop. Okay? Done. I'm going to make them into like one and a half inch balls. Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite scoop. Okay. You roll this. Roll this lightly because it's kind of wet. 
okay? You can make smaller ones if you like. Okay. If they really stick to your hands, you can dash your hands with cornstarch. You know this happens when sometimes the eggs are big. So if you really want very accurate every time, you weigh the eggs instead of saying how many pieces. Okay. Anyway, we will also try to make 15 pieces. This will spread a little bit. Not, not a lot, just a little bit. And then, remember, form them into balls. You might ask me, why do you have to form it into balls? The bottom will be flat anyway. You're right. I just thought it would be nicer. Okay. And then you dip your fork in cornstarch. And then... You make like this, you crisscross. Flatten it a little bit and crisscross. So you see, there was no need to make a perfect round. It's just the OC in me. Okay, when you press, don't press it also. Uh, don't press it down too much because we don't want our cookies to be very thin. And then later, if you want to give it some character, you can sprinkle some kosher salt if you like. But I leave it as it is, okay? I have many recipes to share with you. If you're interested, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can be alerted when a new video is uploaded.